So to start out, I got a Honeycrisp apple. These are my favorite type of apple because they're really sweet. And when you look for apples, Welcome back to Beauty Shell. I'm Michelle Mills, and thanks for tuning in to my Whole Foods haul on the Whole30. So if you guys don't know what the Whole30 is, it's basically a diet for 30 days. So I've been doing it for the month of June, and if you don't know what the Whole30 is, I'm going to link a blog that I wrote about it below so you guys can read and figure out what it is. Um, so we're going to start. I went to Whole Foods this morning. I love Whole Foods. I'm like totally obsessed. People have this argument between Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. I think I'm on the side of Whole Foods. Um, so it's pretty hard to find like snack food on the Whole30 and I'm a huge snacker and that's kind of the point of the Whole30. You don't want to snack um, but you know I like to snack. So <laughs> I got a couple snack items and then I also got some of my favorite produce so on the whole 30 you want to eat like whole foods so like you can have any fruit or any vegetable you want so I always go to the produce section and go crazy today I only got a couple things because I usually go to the farmers market for my produce so the first item that I got is a Honeycrisp apple so this is actually my favorite type of apple. It's really sweet and unlike Red Delicious, the skin is actually sweet and doesn't taste terrible. So this is my all-time favorite type of apple. So the second thing I got was bok choy. This is actually baby bok choy. I don't know how to cook with this. So if you have a recipe suggestion, could you comment that below? I need help. My mom really likes eating bok choy, so hopefully she has a recipe. But, so I always like to try different things out, so I really enjoy trying new fruits or vegetables that I've never had before, so this is what I tried this time. So on to the snack items. So I am actually trying a new bar out, so it looks like this. It's called Sprouted Grow, or Grow Sprouted, I'm not sure. It says Grow and then it says Sprouted. And I got the flavor Mint Chocolate. And it's so funny because I've never liked this flavor before, before I started the Whole30. So on the Whole30, I like tried this one bar, which I'm going to show you guys. And I'm like hooked on Mint Chocolate now. You should like this video if Mint Chocolate's your favorite too. Um, anyway, so it says it has 12 grams of pure plant protein. It's organic, vegan, gluten-free, and paleo. So check on there. The ingredients are sprouted watermelon seeds, dates, cacao, chocolate extract, vanilla extract, mint extract, sea salt, rosemary extract. So I'm very excited to try this. I will have to let you guys know how this is. So the next thing I get is, the whole reason I bought that bar is the RX Mint Chocolate Bar. I'm so hooked, it tastes so good. I tried it last week and I was like, I got a whole variety pack of RX bars and so I've tried every single flavor and I kind of left that one to last because I don't really like mint and chocolate together. Well now I do. This is so good. So. What's in here is dates, egg whites, cashews, almonds, cacao, cocoa, peppermint oil, sea salt, and sea salt. That's it. So good. So the next one are Lara bars. If you don't know what Lara bars are, you're going to learn today. So I got two different flavors. I have the biggest sweet tooth in the world. Like, I love chocolate so much. So, usually the Lara bars that I can find at like Food Lion are only just like mango or cashew cookie I find a lot or blueberry, but I want ones with chocolate in it. So I went to Whole Foods and I got 
The Lar Bar Organic with Superfoods, Hazelnut, Hemp, and Cacao. It's so good. So what's in it is dates, hazelnuts, cacao nibs, hemp seeds, almond, cocoa powder, and then it says it's organic. Awesome. So then I got another flavor, chocolate coconut chew. Haven't tried this one yet, so I'm excited to try it. It looks like this. And what's in it is dates, almonds, walnuts, unsweetened cocoa powder, unsweetened coconut, and it says it's fair trade certified. So yes. So the next snack item that I got is sweet potato chips. I am hooked on these. It's either these or plantain chips. I get the plantain chips from Trader Joe's, but I get, I just got this and I can't wait to try it. They look so freaking good. It has sweet potatoes, organic coconut oil, and sea salt. I'm actually going to try one right now. I'm always so bad at opening things. Here we go. So it looks like this. It actually looks like a sweet potato. Unlike the regular sweet potato chips that look like chip chips. Oh, it actually tastes super natural. It doesn't taste like it has like that weird oil on it and you feel like you're eating something bad. I think it's like canola oil. So on the bag, so on the bag it says, sweet potatoes are a concentrated plant source of beta carotene, the provitamin that converts to vitamin A, which is good for your eyes. You will find 90% of the US RDA of this important vitamin and about 13 of our sweet potato chips. So there we go. So the last thing that I got from Whole Foods today was freaking gum. So I'm not allowed to have any type of sugar at all on the Whole30, like no stevia, no honey, no maple syrup, no anything. So I can't have like sorbitol, which is like code word for sugar. The Whole30 has like a list of all the different sugars that are like sneaky sugars. I'll link that below as well. But I finally found gum! So, even sugar-free gum still has sugar in it. That's a lie. This has um, wax, natural flavors, like a glycerin to keep it together. But it's, so it's called Pure, Pure Peppermint Gum. And they're like, they're like these little things. I tried one today. They're really good. They obviously don't keep flavor long because you can't have one that keeps flavor long without a bunch of crappy chemicals. But you don't need to chew gum for an hour and a half, right? So that's it, guys. That's what I got from the Whole Foods store today. So if you have any questions or comments, write them below. Please like this video so I know that you like these type of videos and I'll keep making um, like food haul videos because I go to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and an Earth Fair is about to open up so let me know and please subscribe to me if you haven't already.